Hi Tuners! Welcome to Stage X Academy. In this episode, you will learn more about some of the most important customization options in Stage X so it can match your preferences, make your work pleasant and even more efficient. Today, we will cover topics such as viewport adjustments, selection modes, changing between languages, hex dump adjustment options, and many more. Without further ado, let's open new project in Stage X. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's use any control unit map which size allows to be opened in 3D viewport. Now let's open the settings window. To do this click on the button with the gear icon on it. It is located in the right part of the Stage X toolbar. First of all, let's start with something basic, adding a color mask to your 3D viewport. You can easily switch this option on and off. When enabled, the color mask will be also visible in fast preview mode. As we can see the color mask imposes a gradient on the 3D viewport which symbolizes the map values. Accordingly, blue color is responsible for the lowest values, green and yellow for medium and red for the highest. It helps to visualize the span of the map faster and easier. Now, let's move on to the Hexdom viewport and talk a bit about selection modes. You can choose from multiple options such as consecutive, rectangle, and rows. Consecutive is a typical selection mode where you just click on the first cell and hold the mouse button until you get to the last cell that you want to select. Rectangle mode is very similar, but as the name suggests, selected area is rectangular. And last but not least, rows mode. This mode will automatically select all cells belonging to the rows on which you click and drag your cursor on. Now when you know all of the selection modes, feel free to pick and use the one that fits your situation and preferences. While we're still on the hex dump subject, note that you can also easily change the number of display columns by using a tool located on the right side of the toolbar or directly in settings. A useful option in situations where you need a broader view of the hex dump. Another option allows us to enable or disable visibility of user maps, potential maps, and map packs in Hexdump if you don't need them being displayed. Note that when your potential maps view is active, you can set it into one of two modes, border or overlay. As you can see, disabling certain Hexdump overlays can be very useful, for example if you work only with map packs and don't want to be distracted by additionally marked potential and user maps. Remember that you can also turn those overlays on and off in a faster way by using the lower bar. Now let's talk about changing the display mode of the visible data. To do so, just simply select the combination of the data format that suits your needs in the top toolbar. This section is necessary for accurate understanding and editing binary file maps. We will cover all of the individual data display functions in detail in the upcoming episodes. We simply don't want to overwhelm you with so much information at once today. Another topic I would like to touch on is changing the system language. Of course, StageX was designed for all tuners around the globe, that is what it allows to choose one of the available translations. At the moment, you can choose from five supported languages, English, Italian, Polish, Chinese, and Spanish. More languages will come in the future. In Stage X, you can also choose between dark or light software theme and set frequency of autosave time accordingly to your preferences. Another option worth mentioning is Font Sized Editor, which allows you to adjust the size of the fonts displayed in Stage X. Depending on your screen size or your preferences, you can adjust the font size by tweaking this option. And the last, but not the least topic that I would like to talk about today is the option called Show Checksum Prompt on Export. This tool will automatically check if checksum in file that you want to export is faultless, and if not, it will make the appropriate corrections. Of course, you can enable or disable this option at any time. That would be it for today. See you at our next episode of Stage X Academy.